It is uh, Sunday, uh, December 15th, uh, 2013. We're here in front of the Unitarian Church of Montreal. Um, there was a snowstorm going on, but it seems to have died down. We got some snow still coming down, but, but as we can see, there's a fair bit of snow around. Um, and I want to talk about Unitarian Universalist snow jobs today. Uh, a snow job is essentially a facade put up. Uh, you know, you say we believe this or this is this is what we believe when in fact it's not true. It's essentially a snow job is a, a form of hypocrisy, a form of fraud, a form of uh, uh, misrepresenting the truth. Um, and here's one right here. On the uh, wayside pulpit of the Unitarian Church of Montreal, uh, what I sometimes uh, sarcastically refer to as the wayward pulpit because often what's written here just isn't true uh, as it is today as a matter of fact. Um, uh, I also use the term wayward pulpit to refer to the actual pulpit as it were of actual Unitarian Universalist ministers who behave in a manner that is out of alignment with the claimed uh, principles and purposes of Unitarian Universalism. So I, I do have another use for that term. Uh, anyway, here, here we see the sign and it says uh, we need not think alike to love alike. It's a quotation from uh, Ferenc David, also known as Francis David, a Unitarian Universalist minister from the 16th century in Romania, uh, who uh, lived between 1520 and 1579, and he was basically a, one of the earliest, if not the earliest, Unitarian in terms of establishing a Unitarian church. Um, so, very clear, we don't have to believe exactly the same thing to nonetheless behave in a loving manner between each other. Um, quite frankly, this is complete and utter bullshit in terms of how I have been treated by Montreal Unitarians. The Unitarian Universalist Association as an institution and many, many, many other Unitarian Universalists. Uh, when I have expressed different disagreement with Unitarian Universalists, um, in a, a perfectly reasonable manner, they have responded in an incredibly unloving manner. Um, you know, when we have not thought alike, uh, they have responded in a manner that is far from loving, but in fact uh, can, in some cases, not every case, but in, in some cases, quite the opposite. It can be seen as hate, as contempt, uh, as uh, insulting and defamatory attacks, as slander, as libel, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, it just goes on and on and on. This, this sign right here, is a snow job in terms of how Unitarian Universalists actually behave with me and other people. We're going to keep it short. Uh, I will say, I will say that, that because, because when there's been disagreement and Unitarian Universalists have behaved in an incredibly unloving manner, I have returned the favor on occasion and, and even quite, quite regularly now uh, because intolerant and abusive behavior has been all but officially endorsed by both the Unitarian Church of Montreal and the Unitarian Universalist Association. Good morning, uh, Harvey. Um, so here, I just had a little pleasant little interaction here with Harvey Shepard, former Gazette religious columnist, which interestingly enough, Harvey Shepard wrote some pretty good articles about me and my efforts to get Creation Day started. So. Harvey knows me from uh, way back, 1992, 1993, well certainly 1993, I can't speak for, well, hang on a sec. Put it this way, early to mid 90s, Harvey know me, even before he became a, a member of the Unitarian Church of Montreal. Um, and what's interesting about this, we, we just had a pleasant interaction, he said hello, I said hello, perfectly civil, perfectly polite. Um, there is a, a little problem though, because I'm here outside the Unitarian Church of Montreal protesting against Unitarian Universalist injustices and abuses, against clergy misconduct, including uh, anti-religious uh, anti intolerance and bigotry, 
including uh, verbal and psychological abuse, and not in my case, but in other cases, including clergy sexual misconduct. I do protest against that as well. On behalf of victims of clergy sexual misconduct, I, I raise that issue. Um, Harvey and the vast majority of the other members of this church have all but completely ignored this protest. He's very polite. Hello, Robin. How's it going? Yep. I respond back politely, but by ignoring this protest, by pretending it has zero validity, by doing absolutely nothing to work towards justice, equity, and compassion for human relations, uh, by, by doing absolutely nothing to try to create a world of peace, liberty, and justice for all, which includes me and the Unitarian Universalist clergy abuse victims, uh, Harvey is not actually being very loving. He clearly does not think alike because he's not agreeing with me. He's ignoring this protest. And the simple fact of ignoring this protest, even if he's not being rude and abusive, it's not loving. And in fact, uh, I think it was George Bernard Shaw, or perhaps Bertrand Russell, one of those two for sure, spoke about how indifference is even worse than hate. Uh, now, I'm not sure I entirely agree with that, but I will say that indifference is the antithesis of love. Uh, so Harvey, although he's polite with me, you know, hello Robin, um, nonetheless, we don't think alike, and he is not behaving in a loving manner towards me. So. And we just had a little example of that right now. So I'm going to wind it up on that point. I'm not going to continue on. Uh, this is an example of the low end. The low end of how Unitarian Universalists who do not think alike with me uh, do not love me either. Because they don't love me enough. They don't love me enough to say, you know what, Robin, maybe, maybe there's some validity to your protest. Maybe you're right about some of this stuff. Let's try and work things out. Let's try and work towards justice. Let's have some fairness, equity. Let's be compassionate. Let's work towards peace. No, nope. Harvey, Shepard, every single other member of the Unitarian Church of Montreal has ignored this protest for years and years and years. Harvey was not a member of the church when I joined. He joined later, but, but he's been a member for I'd say at least five or six years now, um, and he has never at any time done anything that lives up to Unitarian Universalist principles towards trying to resolve this conflict. He just ignores it, at least in terms of his talking to me. I mean, maybe he said a few things inside the church, but you know, he's, he's essentially ignored this protest, as has every single other member of the church. Uh, the Unitarian Universalist Association has repeatedly ignored all of my communications, with, with a few exceptions. Uh, but essentially, you know, even when they actually respond to my communications, they do so in a dismissive manner. Uh, they do so in a manner that just says, you know, sorry, Robin, tough luck. You know, um, so far, um, I have had recently some conversations um, that I, I, I hope will bear fruit, but I have no real confidence that that's actually going to happen based on how things are happening right now. Um, and, and we will just, uh, on, you know, on, on the uh, topic of, of Unitarian Universalists uh, being incredibly unloving just by totally ignoring my grievances, uh, we'll bring it to the current UUA Board of Trustees. All of the previous uh, versions of the UA Board of Trustees have totally ignored what I've said. I, I have said things. They, they have received communications from me, but they have never responded to those communications in a manner that lives up to Unitarian Universalist and Justice, uh, uh, sorry, uh, principles and purposes in a way to, to provide justice, in the, in the, that, that, that redresses injustices and abuses. No, they've essentially done nothing. Uh, they've, 
essentially just dismissed, ignored, rejected everything I've said, uh, and, and for the most part, not even so much as acknowledge receipt of emails. And that is what's happening right now. A new UUA Board of Trustees came in in June of 2013, mid-June. We've got a Jim Key as the moderator. We've got 15 uh, new UUA trustees. Well, they're not all new. I mean, there's some from the previous board. Um, I sent the uh, new UUA Board of Trustees an email in mid-September letting them know that there's some you know, serious problems, immediate problems that needed to be redressed and they did not even acknowledge receipt of that email. I heard absolutely nothing from them. Um, I reminded them in late September again with another email asking them to please behave differently than the previous boards and at least acknowledge receipt of the email. At least let me know you got it. Now, I happen to know that they did get it because I have other evidence that makes it clear that they got it. Um, but they didn't even say, yes, Robin, we received this. To say nothing of actually responding back to it. Uh, I just sent them another email on Friday, Friday the 13th of December. Oh, and by the way, uh, that mid-December uh, uh, email uh, to the Board of Trustees was also on Friday the 13th of September. Uh, basically, I'm trying to tell the Unitarian Universalist Board of Trustees that that they're making some pretty bad luck for the Unitarian Universal Association. They're pushing their luck. Um, you know, they really have to start practicing what Unitarian Universalism preaches. They need to start responding to our differences in thinking in a way that is actually loving, instead of the antithesis of loving, which is, if not hate, indifference, total silence, total disregard, of a person's inherent worth and dignity because you're just ignoring everything they say. You're doing absolutely nothing to work towards justice. You're doing absolutely nothing to respond in equity, also known as fairness. It is incredibly uncompassionate to totally ignore someone who is trying to resolve differences. That is not loving to ignore someone for years and years and years and more than a decade. This is, again, if not hate, and as I said, it doesn't have to be hate, as, as, as either George Bernard Shaw or Bertrand Russell try to show that, that if it's not worse than hate, if it's not equal to hate, the indifference is pretty darn close to hate. It's, it's, it's definitely not loving. Uh, so on that note, we're going to wrap this up. And we just have a, we have a Unitarian seminarian. Curtis, whose name I, I don't remember, who just walked past me. Curtis, right there in the background, he's, he's walking into the church right now. Curtis wants to be Unitarian Universalist minister. Curtis just walked right by me and he didn't even say hello. He didn't even say, hi Robin, how's it going? No, Curtis just, pfft. we're talking about indifference. We're talking about ignoring something. Curtis future Unitarian Universalist minister just walked right by me and didn't even say hello. Curtis obviously does not think alike. Curtis is not being very loving, is he? That's it for now.